All right, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to this ceremony honoring the 100th anniversary of the American Legion to avoid passing traffic in the condition of the grounds behind us. Uh, and that is the tree right there. Uh, we felt that this area of the parking lot was a better location for today. With that said, please welcome Rich Olson, commander of Frank C. Godfrey, American Legion Post 12, here in Norwalk. Thank you, Jeff. Good morning and welcome. The Frank C. Godfrey American Legion Post 12 is 100 years old. The American Legion is also 100 years old. <coughs> Excuse me, our centennial, both being chartered in 1919. To commemorate this milestone, it was suggested by the Department of Connecticut for each post to consider planting a tree in honor of our centennial year and birthday. Thank you to Post Officer Jeff DeWitt. And centennial in recognition is a most special event. We thank you all for being here this morning and joining us. There will be several other centennial events, so please contact the Post through social media for exact information and details. Again, thank you and enjoy your day. Jeff? Can't help Mother Nature sometimes. <laughs> thank you for the assist, Charlie. Uh, please face the flag. We're going to have a little sighting of the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. The American Legion was chartered by Congress in 1919 as a patriotic veterans organization. Focusing on service to veterans, active service members, and communities, the Legion evolved from a group of war weary veterans of World War I into one of the most influential nonprofit groups in the United States. The membership swiftly grew to over one million members, and local posts sprang up across the country, including Post 12 here in Norwalk. Today, international membership stands at over two million in more than 13,000 posts worldwide. The posts are organized into 55 departments, one each for the 50 states, along with the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, France, Mexico, and the Philippines. Over the years, the Legion has influenced considerable social change in America, won hundreds of benefits for veterans, and produced many important programs for children and youth. Please welcome American Legion member, City of Norwalk Mayor, Harry Reeling for a few words. Well, thank you all for being here. Uh, you know, it's an important milestone to realize that for 100 years, veterans have been coming together to support each other, to help guide each other, to provide the services that uh, are so important, especially when people come home from overseas, they come home, they've left their families, they have to come back into society, they have to be prepared. And veterans organizations such as the American Legion has facilitated that need, have facilitated those veterans coming home, and the job that the, that, that the uh, American Legion done is, uh, does is so very, very important. And it's really uh, uh, appropriate that we recognize the 100th anniversary uh, and, and thank the American Legion and thank the other veterans organizations for all the wonderful things they do. So thank you, Jeff, for doing this. We appreciate it. The mayor has signed a proclamation for the American Legion birthday, and I'll read it. That's what fell over <laughs> earlier. The American Legion was formed in 1919 after the termination of World War I hostilities. And Whereas the American Legion in an organization of wartime veterans united by a common bond of continued service to God and country, and whereas the American Legion will observe the 100th anniversary of its founding, March 15th to 17th, as an organization comprised of nearly 3 million men and women who have served their country with honor during one of the wars since the 20th, 20th century, and whereas by giving meaningful service in conjunction with the theme Still Serving America, Legionnaires have made significant contributions to American thought and deed. And whereas endeavors of the American Legion, which strengthen our freedom and perpetuate our free institutions, characterize this gigantic fraternity of service as one of the great bulwarks of American way of life. And whereas the American Legion has achieved its position of high esteem through programs of service to community 
state, and nation. And whereas such programs have become an inter integral part of Norwalk, Connecticut, now, therefore, I, Harry W. Rilling, as mayor of the city of Norwalk, Connecticut, do hereby proclaim the week of March 10th to 16th, 2019, as American Legion Week in Norwalk. And in doing so, call upon all citizens, companies, and organizations to join me with join with me in commending the good works of this organization as an expression of appreciation for the wartime and peacetime services of our Legionnaires. They are truly still serving America. Thank you, Mayor Rowan. Post 12 here in Norwalk will also celebrate their centennial this year on the first weekend in June. On June 3rd, 1919, a group of veterans in Norwalk elected the first group of officers, including the first commander, John Keel. It is that date that Post 12 recognizes as their anniversary date. In April, we'll start up our Veteran of the Month program again. The ceremony is held the first Sunday of every month, April through December, at 11 a.m. The ceremony in April will honor Robert Donahue, family member of Legionnaire and Norwalk business owner Ray Cook. The ceremony in May will honor our first commander, John Keel. And the ceremony in June will honor the namesake of our post, Frank C. Godfrey. We wish to thank all members of the American Legion family, Post 12, Auxiliary Unit 12, and Sons of the American Legion Squadron 12. We are also extreme, extremely grateful to the Interim Director of Norwalk's Recreation and Parks, Ken Hughes. He helped us find a proper site for the tree and oversaw the work that went on this past week to get the tree planted and the monument in place. The tree is an October glory maple. It will stand as a reminder that the American Legion is a part of the fabric of the city of Norwalk. The brass plaque attached to the marker reads, this tree is planted in honor of the American Legion Post 12 Norwalk in recognition of their centennial 1919 to 2019. Finally, thanks to Mayor Rilling, State Rep Gail Laviel, I saw you show up. Hi, welcome and thank you for being here. Uh, Rick McQuaid is here also. Nice to have you here. Uh, and thank you most of all to Mayor Rilling for your support of all the Legion does. And to all of you attending today, we appreciate it. This concludes the ceremony. Thank you for coming. Enjoy the rest of your day. The St. Patrick's Day for the kickoff. Feel free to go around. Uh, that is the tree, and there's a monument in the ground in front of it as well.